Well, thank you all for being here, uh, staying out late. Well, with a, um, with a margin of 13,000 and growing and with only red counties left to uh, count, we're very confident that we have this, uh, this victory tonight. And um, I, I don't care who you are or where you come from, you got to love a comeback story, don't you? Especially when we were outspent at every stage of the game and when some large establishment groups lined up against us, we still pulled through with the help of Republican voters across the state. Um, I owe a huge debt of gratitude to many people, but first and foremost, I want to thank the Lord for carrying us to victory tonight. And up here on the stage with me, I want to thank uh, Heather, my mom, Jan, and all the girls uh, for sticking with me and uh, being so supportive during this race. And I want to especially also thank uh, our small crack campaign team, uh, campaign manager, J.R. Clays and our communication director, Denidri Herbert. Um, also want to thank our treasurer, Laura Francis, and the legions of volunteers all across the state that made this possible. I want to give a special shout out to uh, Donna Lippold in Wichita and to the people of Kansas Health Freedom, who through this pandemic were such strong supporters of our are standing up for the Constitution and pushing back uh, on, on those infringements on our freedom. But uh, most importantly, I want to thank the voters of Kansas uh, for putting their trust in me. It means so much to, uh, to have their trust tonight. Um, I, I want to congratulate Chris Mann on a hard-fought campaign. Uh, but tomorrow we begin the process of, of taking America back, and uh, the Kansas Attorney General's office is going to be very directly involved in that process. I believe that uh, America is not a country that kicks people out of the armed forces for asserting their First Amendment right to free exercise of religion. I believe that America is not a country that should shut down its oil production and then go begging Saudi Arabia to produce more oil. Uh, last time I checked, I think it comes from the same planet, but I might be mistaken. Um, and America is not a place where the Constitution is optional or is ignored by an administration in Washington, D.C. And on every one of those areas, the Attorney General's Office, not just of Kansas, but of all of the states standing up for the Constitution, the Attorney General's Office is essential in holding the line, in defending our Constitution, and defending the, the rule of law in this country. And that's what we intend to do. So if Joe Biden continues to violate the law, Kansas will lead the charge in taking him to court. And there's much work to be done uh, here at the state level in Kansas as well. Uh, first off, we must address the fentanyl crisis, indeed the fentanyl plague, that is uh, killing so many Kansans, and we will take uh, significant dramatic steps in that regard. Uh, secondly, we must protect girls' sports. It's that simple. And I believe we must change the way we have of selecting just justices and have a much more accountable message where the people are heard and there is representation. Now, I know that my victory is not about me. It's about a desire to save our state and save our country. And I'm so honored that so many Kansans have put their trust in me in that endeavor, in this movement. And uh, I can't thank the voters enough for giving me their trust, giving me this opportunity. So thank you once again, and may God bless the great state of Kansas. Yeah.